In this Blender tutorial I will show you how to create three-dimensional curved text. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. OK, start by removing the cube. So to do this just press X on your keyboard then left click on Delete. Now hold down Shift followed by A and left click on Text. We want to rotate this text through 90 degrees on its X axis. So to do this just press R followed by X and then type 90 and hit return. And press 1 followed by 5 on your numbers pad. And this will take you into front orthographic view. Roll your middle mouse if need be to get a better sort of view on your text. And then with the text still highlighted, press tab on your keyboard to go into edit mode. Press backspace to remove the text that um, is already there. And then if you come to the top right of the screen, look for the little button that's got an F in it. This is your text. It says data button, but this is probably your editing button actually. So just left click on F. Drag this slider down. And in the paragraph, underneath horizontal alignment, just left click on center. Now you're going to type the words that you want to use. Um, obviously, you probably won't be the same as I'm going to use, but anyway. Okay. You can tell I can't type very well, but anyway. So I've just typed in this. Um, now, obviously we want to put some depth and maybe a bit of bevel on this. So start um, by going into top view. So press 7 on your numbers pad and this will take you into top view. And drag this up so that you can see the geometry section. This is this one here. Now in the box it says extrude, hold down your left mouse button and just move your mouse to the right and extrude this or your text out to something that you are reasonably happy with. So I don't know, we'll take this out to zero point one five zero. You can manually type this in as well if you left click in the box. OK. Then go back into front view by pressing 1 on your numbers pad. And we'll put some bevel to this. So again, in the depth box, hold down your left mouse button and drag your mouse to the right until you get a sort of a bevel that you're happy with. Don't go too mad. <laughs> so I'm going to take this, I don't know. Let's go at that. So I've set this up at 0.025. That should be good enough for what we want. OK. Once you've done all that and you're happy, press tab on your keyboard to go into object mode. Now at present, this won't curve too well. Um, there won't be enough faces on it. In fact, it's not even um, a mesh. So you'll need to change this to a mesh. So if you hold down Alt followed by C and left click Mesh from Curve Metasurf Text and then press Tab on your keyboard to go back into edit mode. You'll see why you needed to do this because basically if you look at this, it's not made up of enough faces to bend very well. These aren't too bad, but what you're doing is you're going to be trying to bend straight edges or faces and it doesn't work too well. So to get around that problem, if you press A if your um, text isn't fully selected, A deselects, A selects everything in edit mode. Um, 
you can sort of divide these up now. So to the left of the screen, look for the box that says subdivide, and in this instance, I'm going to just left click on it twice. You might have to do this more or less, might work for you, depends on the text you're using. Okay, now once you've done that, press tab again to go into object mode. Press 7 on your numbers pad to go into um, top view again. And then hold down shift followed by A. And next to curve, left click on circle. You want the one directly underneath the word bezier. Now increase the circle by hold, uh, holding down or pressing S and then moving your mouse. So you're going to increase the circle so that it's just a little bit bigger than your text. And left click. Now you can change this circle. Um, in fact, I'll just go through a few things you can do with this in a minute. But anyway, what we want to do is curve this text so it's around this circle. So right click on the text and this is probably best attempted in front view so press 1 on your numbers pad. Now look for the modifiers button this is a sort of wrench spanner left click on this and left click add modifier and then what you're looking for is the word curve so left click on curve and then the box underneath the word object, left click, and then left click on Bezier Curve. Now this all happens quite a lot. What you end up with is a backwards um, set of writing. Now that is easy to change. All you need to do is just press, because you're going to rotate this 180 degrees on its Z axis, so just press R. Z and type 180 and left click. Now your text is facing the right way. And there's a few things you can do before pressing the apply button. So if you want to do extend the length of this text, say you could try by doing something like uh, pressing S X and then stretching it out on its x-axis. Obviously the more you do this the more you end up with distortions on the faces. If you remember I said about what happens if you haven't got enough faces. Um, just right click to go back to the original setting. In fact even here you can see there's some distortion. This will disappear when I smooth that out a bit. Okay you can do that and you can still press um, can still extend this on its um, Z axis so if you press SZ you could move it up and down um, and you can also if you right click on the curve and press S you can even increase the curve of the text or decrease it so it sort of gives you some idea of what you can and can't do OK, I'm going to right click to go back. OK, now that gives you some idea of what you can do with this. Um, now I'm going to right click on the text again and I'm just going to press apply. Now you can get rid of the curve if you want by right clicking on it and then press X and delete. And that's that. OK. And that is basically how you create um, curved three-dimensional text. Um, now, if you want to do the um, sort of create the, the image that, that I started with at the beginning, what I suggest you do first of all is just come up to the top of the screen and left-click on File, and then just left click save and give this a title so that you can go back into it if things go wrong 
So where it says total blend, just left click and I don't know, we'll call this blender text. You can call it what you want. And then left click save blender file. So if at any time things go wrong and you want to come back to this setting, all you need to do when you start up, left click on file and then next to open recent you should see something called blender text or whatever else you called it and then just left click on this and this will bring this view back up again okay so I've got to remember how we created the uh, the effect yeah okay first things first top of the screen go into blender render and then left click cycles render press 7 on your numbers pad to go into um, top view again and then press hold down shift followed by A and next to mesh left click on plane rotate the plane through 90 degrees by pressing R followed by X then 9 0 press 1 on your numbers pad to go into front view and then hit your space bar and type the word A L or rather type the letters A L I so that's A L I and then left click view 3D align camera to view press S to increase the size of the plane so that it covers the camera view and then left click now one thing you must make sure you don't do is obviously chop any of your text if you've gone further around than I did so if you are if you just press 7 again you can always move this back and again resize but I'm going to just go back to this setting here um, and then 0 to go on my numbers pad to go into camera view Okay. so let's just set this up a little bit better so I'm going to just center the text by right clicking on it and just bring this text up down rather so it's more in the center and then press S to resize it by moving my mouse okay and I'm going to rotate it on its X axis a bit so we'll press R X and rotate it a bit sometimes and then that'll do and again using the blue arrow left click on it recenter you can move things about quite easily and reset back to the original setting by pressing ctrl z so I don't know I think that will probably do okay okay we'll go with that so first thing I'm gonna do with this uh, text highlighted I'm gonna just come over here and left click on smooth and that should get rid of some of the distortions that we had on the faces okay so let's just set this up to give us a better sort of view um, and set the lighting up so again to top view number seven okay look for the dot with a circle around it um, and also make sure you can see your camera and right click on it and then just drag it using the red arrow so that it's just on the green line and hold down your left mouse on the green arrow and drag it so it's just behind the camera Okay, and go back into camera view again. So let's start setting this up. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the plane in camera view, and then look for the sort of orange disc. This is to the left of the checker plate, and then left click on new, then the white color bar, left click. And just drag this all the way down this dot here all the way down so it's black then right click on your text 
and then to the bottom of the screen you've got a sort of a white circular dot left click on this and left click on rendered okay now your text should still be highlighted so just left click on new because you should still be in this uh, materials sort of button and then change where it says diffuse left click and change this to glossy okay now the next thing you're going to do on the white bar left click and for now just drag this down so it's sort of in the yellow section don't want it too yellow so it's sort of just a little bit orangey okay and then where it's you've got a roughness button just drag this over till it's about point something like point four I think we'll go for we'll adjust this in a minute after we put some light on so we'll go there so let's type in point four okay now rather than coming back out and clicking on the lamp look for it up here and left click on it now we haven't got much light here so I'm going to change this and I'm going to put something like 2 in this box here and then I'm going to left click on use nodes and in the strength box I'm going to left click and put 2 thousand and as you can see it sort of improved the look of this text but it's still not perfect so there's a couple of things you can do to increase the lighting or decrease it if you look for the world button left click on this then left click use nodes now in the color box left click and you can increase or decrease the background color it won't change your view because you've already got you've got a black background so let's take this up to white and now we can start adjusting this text so that it actually looks a bit more reflective so again it's easier once you look in rendered view to actually just move this down so you can see what I'm talking about you can see your text here so just left click on this and then go back into your materials button the orange disk and start adjusting the settings so let's knock the roughness down a bit and I think that's looking a lot better so that now is set at in this instance 0. 0.069 so I'm manually typing 0 0.07 and that's given us this sort of look here and I think that don't look too bad so finally let's render this top of the screen look for the button that says render this looks like a little camera left click on this drag the percentage up from 50% to 100% make sure you are happy with everything and then we want to get rid of this sort of messiness which will pick up when you render so come back out of render view I should have done this earlier to the right of the render button you need to left click on the uh, render layers button and then just put a tick next to deionizing and come back into the render button and you don't need to do anything else just left click on render and let your computer do the work okay but well this is finished rendering now before we save it I'm just gonna just point out a few well one thing if you remember we subdivided this text and the reason you need um, subdivisions is because of things like this if you look at it it's not perfect um, and that the reason is you're 
trying to bend flat planes or faces so the more divisions you put in the smoother your image will be um, it's an example here um, unfortunately if your computer is not very powerful the more dots you've got for one of a better word vertices and faces the harder it will have to work so have a go at this it's um, it does work and uh, see where you um, your happy compromises especially in dividing up objects um, all of the settings I've gone through you can change it pays to do it through camera view and you can muck around with everything um, especially when you um, apply modifiers until you actually left click on apply you can change things so the only thing you need to do now is just save this so if you come to the bottom of the screen left click on the word image and then left click save as image and then find somewhere to save it so we'll go desktop and I'm going to just type in I don't know because I've done this as I run through I'll call this text 2 and then left click it save as image and then left click save as image again and that's all there is to it um, the only other thing this has been saved as a PNG because it's um, that's the default setting if you wanted to save it as a JPEG before you press render just left click on PNG and then left click on JPEG and that is all there is to it hopefully this helps somebody thank you for watching cheers